Hi there, it's Rob Hillman here from Easy Training Guides. Today we're going to talk more about WordPress basics and more specifically scheduling posts and categories and tags. But before we get started, if you haven't already, just click on the subscribe button so you get all the latest videos and also click on the little bell icon as well so you'll get notified straight away. Um, also, before we see these uh, short videos, uh, if you take a look in the description down below, you'll see a link to my main website, uh, easytrainingguides.com, where there are over a thousand training videos on all different types of internet marketing subjects and social media. So you might like to check that out after the video. But in the meantime, sit back and relax and enjoy the movies. See you soon. Take care. When writing posts on WordPress, you usually have that option to publish immediately or to save it as a draft first and then go back to it later and publish it. But there's one more option wherein you can schedule the post to be published at a specific time and date. So here's how you do it. So let's go to the post that we're going to work on. Click on edit. Now you see on the publish portion right here where it says publish immediately, it has the option that says edit. Click on edit. You'll have the option now to choose a date and time for the post to be published. So let's say we want it to be published tomorrow. So let's change the date instead of today. Let's make it tomorrow at midnight so that will be like a few hours from now okay when you click on OK you'll see now that the the part that says publish immediately earlier has now been changed to schedule for the fifth or schedule for May 8 2015 at 12 midnight or zero zero so once you have that click on schedule so that you'll be saving those changes and then the post will be published later at midnight what if you change your mind and then suddenly you want to publish it now so what you do is click on edit again change the date and time to today and of course time change it to right now please take note that the time that you enter on this section is in military time so instead of typing in 4 you don't have the option to type in 4 p.m. so instead of 4 p.m. type in 16 So if you want to publish it now, you just put the time for now, update, and there you go. It has been published. Click on view posts. You'll see what your post looks like on the front end of your blog site or website. So with that, thanks, and I'll see you in the next video. In your WordPress site, you can group your posts into categories or you can add tags to your posts. Now, what is the difference with using categories versus using tags? So for categories, you're actually grouping them into groups. So for example, I'm going to make a new post here that will be about dogs so the title of the post is dogs then let's type something in the body part i like dogs so much all right then just for the sake of examples let's pretend that this is a paragraph all right there we go we have one i'm going to save it as a draft Now, I can assign this post 
into the pets category instead of just being in the uncategorized section. So let's do that right now. Save draft. Once you save the draft, it will save the changes to your post. So it will now be saved as in the pets category instead of in the uncategorized section. Now let's make another one. Okay, now I'm writing a post about cats. All right, for the sake of uh, an example, we're going to pretend that this one is long as well. It has a paragraph, so there you go. We're going to go ahead and click on the save draft. Or before we do that, we're going to put it in the pets category since it also talks about cats as pets. Then save draft. So as you can see, we have a post for dogs and for cats. And those are similar because they're all about pets pet animals so you can assign them in the pets category now when we say tags tags are like keywords and these keywords or tags can be used by anyone who is searching for something or some information on your website or blog site please take note as well that tags can be unrelated as opposed to categories which should be related to one another so when we say categories, the posts inside one category must be related or similar to one another. But tags, it doesn't matter. It could be unrelated. One post can have this set of tags and the other can have a different set of tags and it doesn't matter. So like this. Let me show you an example on how different they are using the same two articles. So I will be including a new statement or a new sen sentence here. There was an epidemic among cats last year. So I'm going to add the tag cat because the cat keyword or word is still related to the article. Add. I'm going to put epidemic because the article still talks about an epidemic. It was stated. There you go. And of course, I'm going to add pet because it's still talking about pets which is of course in this article cats there you go please take note I have cat epidemic and pet now let's go to the other post which is the one for dogs oh my apologies let's save it first okay let's go to the post for dogs Now, I'm going to add a new sentence here. Okay, let's just leave it as is. There is an upcoming fashion show contest for dogs. Alright, so now let's go to the tags part again. We can use pet because the article is still talking about pet. Or of course, dogs as pets. It's still related. Dogs. 
and now show or fashion show. As you can see, the only similarity is that both articles, the cat article and the dog article, have the tag or the keyword pet. The rest is unrelated. The cat article used epidemic, which is not present here, and the dog article used the tags or keywords dog and show, which is also not present in the cat article. So as you can see, this is the difference. For categories, the posts in the category must be related to one another, but for tags, it doesn't matter. These are just keywords. Now, when someone searches for information on your site, for example, information about dogs, information about shows or dog shows, fashion shows, information about epidemics on cats or cat illnesses when they use those keywords the system will pull up the articles that bears those keywords or tags regardless of the category and remember please take note that categories have a hierarchy they can be nested so a category can have a subcategory so with that thanks and i'll see you in the next video